What's going on everyone? It's Rebel Bricks. I'm back with another LEGO review and um, as you can see today it's uh, quite a rare one, quite a expensive one because it's limited edition and this set was intended for San Diego Comic Con. This is Set 77905, Taskmaster's Ambush, 230 pieces. That's This is actually one of the first LEGO boxes in a while I've gotten that actually has the piece count on it because in Australia, LEGO boxes no longer have piece counts on them. I've seen LEGO boxes from other countries still have the uh, piece count on them, but... Not here anymore. We don't get the piece count on the Lego boxes in Australia anymore. And as <laughs> you guys can tell, this set is. I obviously didn't buy it here. I obviously sent away for it. Just thought I'd uh, give you guys a little look at the box there. Lego Black Widow. This is the second only set that they've ever released for Black Widow when I've got that first set. I wasn't much thinking about getting this one, but I saw the movie, absolutely fell in love with it. It's my... Some people are probably going to bash me for this, but I enjoyed Black Widow more than Avengers Endgame. I don't care who knows, that is how much I enjoyed this movie more than Endgame. I don't care if anyone thinks that I'm wrong, this is just my opinion, so. I got both Lego sets from one of my top five MCU movies. Honestly, Black Widow shares first place in terms of favourite for MCU movies. Uh, Black Widow shares first place with uh, the first Iron Man movie for me. So, <laughs> there's a look at the back of the box. This box is actually a very nice box. They, uh, they've taken quite a bit more time with it. Uh, it's rather than cut here, cut here, to completely rip the box open, cut two pieces of tape, and it just lifts up like that. And inside the box you get this, you get one instruction manual. Um, the Lego comes in two bags, they're not numbered. First bag is the uh, stand, the display stand, I guess you could call it. And then the second box is um, the second bag is Taskmaster's little vehicle. All right, get the box out of the way. As nice as boxes as it is. Now let's get. To the main attraction of today. <clears throat> the actual set itself. I'm going to run through the minifigures and then I will run through the set. Let's say first up. I hate it when this happens. I hate dropping pieces, especially in here, because you never know where they're going to roll. Okay, first up, you, there's Red Guardian. He's exclusive to this set. He comes with... The shield, which is a sticker on a 2x2 two two rounded, which is just on top of a round shield. He's all in dark red. This camera wants to focus. 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 Hey. 
Feel some nice printing. On the front here, you know what? My thing's having trouble focusing on these figures. Printing on the torso. It's printing on the back of the torso there. Using the um, Dr. Octavius hairpiece. I think it's in a lighter brown than what the doc new Dr. Octavius figures are using. And, um, yeah. I'll give you guys a look at this uh, shield. It's just kind of got, like, the Red Guardian star on it. Red Guardian is pretty much a Russian version of Captain America, which is why I will never understand why they just didn't use um, different printed bits of the uh, Captain America shield in this particular set. But, oh, here we go. <laughs> Next up is Taskmaster. Taskmaster is the only figure that is not exclusive to this set. As you can see, Taskmaster comes with his, or spoiler alert, sorry, her sword. Different kind of sword thing to the one we get in the other Black Widow set. Same torso printing, I'm quite sure. The same face printing too. Go. Bring them back to. Um, the legs are plain, maybe for this kind of set. Could have done with some printing on those legs, but oh well, maybe not. Other things that the Taskmaster comes with in this set, the bow, which honestly for Taskmaster, I would have preferred something as akin to the old bows that they used to use for Hawkeye. kind of a tech bow, and uh, here's Taskmaster's shield, these are stickers, just about every bit of detail that you'd think of a sticker in this set is, so, that's made the same way as Red Guardian shield, again, maybe it would have been better if they'd used Captain America's shield pieces and just reprinted them. And last up, yeah. Black Widow. This is the only set you can get her white outfit in from the movie. Oh, of course, it focuses on the main character the best. Gone back to using those uh, blue, trans blue white saber pieces for the batons, but honestly, the um, thing, the, what they do to make up the batons now in the three pieces, that is, that honestly looks better. So I don't know why they they decided to step back, honestly, for those batons, but. Who are we to question Lego? Um, before I give you guys a look at the other, the two main bits of this set, on the back of Taskmaster's little truck thing, we have safe box of accessories. This is the same kind of a safe box 
case that Black Widow finds from Yelena in the movie, but this is quite a lot bigger than what it was in the movie, obviously. Yeah, open that up. Inside of here you get one cell phone. Uh, in here you get a suitcase and two of those vials with the anti-mind control stuff from the movie. Sorry, I should be saying spoiler alert just about every second I talk about this, because Black Widow has been out... Not too long. I went to see it the day before my birthday, which was last month. Good movie, as I said, one of my favourites. So you get that. And now to have a look, the actual main piece itself. Taskmaster's vehicle. I think this is some kind of like ATV tank. And uh, that uh, container just goes on those jumpers in there. You have one little spot in there for Taskmaster to sit. The steering wheel piece. I really like how they've uh, done the mirrors with the paint rollers right there. I guess these things are just like little ladder bits you can use to climb up. Uh, you have an antenna there. Here is some space for that shield. Over here we've got the storage space for the bow and I don't know what the hell that is. Do not ask. I don't know. Whoops. Nearly just knocked it out. Hold on. Alright. That's fixed. Inside here, yeah. On these side panels, you'll see that sticker. It's the same sticker on the other side. Okay, here's something that they put on this that was not in the movie. This, this thing was in the movie. It was in the movie more than that helicopter from the other set, but that's something that wasn't in the movie. Taskmaster's thing was not personally marked in the movie, so I don't know why they added that in there, but cool, fun. And these wheels, actually, these back two go up and down like that, and the front two move side to side like that, so it's like a all-terrain kind of vehicle. And, uh, that's how that's done. The underside there. All together, it was a fun build. Didn't take too long. Not too many. Well, just about no annoying Technic pieces, really. Um, let's have a look at this base. This little base plate thing here. Get this. There's the little thing, that bit's what you stand Red Guardian on. There's the translucent piece of Black Widow. These things started coming around in the DC Classics, Lego DC Classics superheroes minifig line. This rock piece right here is to actually keep the um, vehicle in place on the base plate. So... What goes in the middle piece of those two rocks there is that piece there. That just. That'll just slide on to there. And wheels will go like that. So, if you are considering attempting. I will say attempt, because not everyone, I mean, not everyone's going to be able to pick this set up. It, 
it's gonna set you back. I mean, especially if you don't live in America, you're gonna also have to consider the fees for import. I think it banged a hundred and seventy something dollar hole in my pocket. But oh well. This will go into making a Black Widow stop motion. It's so far from what I've planned out, it's going to be the longest one, my most detailed one. But also with stop motions, I've got some others coming. I've also got the final uh, Batman one coming. I just don't know what to do with that yet, because the final, I want it to be big. You guys tell me in the comments, do you want the last Batman Lego stop motion to be in two parts? Or some kind of like mini movie. Let me know. Um. Yeah. I'll see you all in the next review. It's been uh, great to get this kind of set. This was meant to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but um, everybody knows what happened in 2020. So this went right to the American Amazon, and only the American Amazon. I was lucky enough to pick it up on eBay. So, if you're new to the channel, please subs consider subscribing. Stick around. Watch some of the other stuff. I will link my first LEGO Black Widow set review in the description. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. That's it. See you next time.